without meeting people, the knowledge is not moving. And it helps us to step out of the box. We have clinicians, we have nurses, we have biochemists, molecular biologists, computer scientists, people from diverse backgrounds who come together. The European Society of Endocrinology is an organization that uh, brings uh, education, science, clinical uh, practice to endocrinologists, both basic and clinicians. We have reached now more than 3,000 members. This Congress is getting better and better and more attended each year. Here you can learn about clinical science, new achievements in basic science and translational science. So everything what is new in endocrinology you can hear at this Congress. I think it's extremely important that we meet all those who are interested in endocrinology to increase the standard of, of diagnostics and the care of the patients and then of course for the scientific part. This is the way to do it. I think one of the good things is also how they bring together basic scientists and clinicians so we can profit from, from one another. There will be clinical management workshops on state-of-the-art therapy and diagnostics of endocrine disease. There will be new scientific approaches sessions for basic scientists and interested clinicians. And importantly, we will bring together a program which is very translational to make sure that scientists and clinicians talk to each other. In fact, I just talked to a pharmaceutical company about a clinical trial that we're interested in uh, using a new medical therapy for Cushing's. Uh, and I get to meet some of the collaborators from Europe that I don't get to see uh, very often. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot today. Obviously, in addition, we will have Dublin itself. Very lucky in Dublin to have a new purpose-built conference centre which has all the modern facilities that we need. So we're sitting in here in a very modern courtyard in a modern hotel with the best facilities and yet we're in the city which has been one of the seats of learning and epicentres of culture in Europe for many, many years. Dublin is a major hub for air travel and it's going to be easy for everybody to access. Particularly for young endocrinologists who might be listening, there are 150 travel grants available through the society and then of course you have a lot more money to spend on fun when you get here. It's a great opportunity to learn something new, to share experience and to make contacts with other people. There are two special ses uh, sessions for young endocrine scientists, including a networking session. Because I'm still young and learning things, it's very important to come here and, and hear all the experts. Yeah, it's a great opportunity because you get a lot of great feedback, so it's really pushing you forward and you, you always get new ideas. Uh, it's opening your, your space, your research uh, thinking. And, you know, it concentrates into a sh short space of time, so you get a lot more out of it. We will have a special strand and a networking session for endocrine nurses. Well, we have our own um, nursing program embedded in the bigger program, so we get the benefits of the larger group, and you can attend the physician meetings as well. So we've got lots to share. Mistakes that were made, great ideas that should be done again, and ways to work together to not have to reinvent the wheel all, all the time. Now, th those of you who've come to find out what an Earth a title means, uh, you'll have to wait to the end, so don't leave yet, okay? We have this year three additional prize lectures that will be given. The newly established European Hormone Medal Lecture. Then we will also have the Clinical Endocrinology um, Trust Prize Lecture, uh, which will honor a clinical endocrinologist who has changed management in the field. And in addition, we are um, delighted to host the Fondation Ibsen Prize Lecture, which will honor a major basic scientist of international stature. So we will have five fantastic prize lectures this year. Uh, today, I have the pleasure to introduce our first uh, plenary lecture. What attracted me this morning is about the diurnal rhythm. And this is what I'm going to work on when I go back home. Coming to meetings like this, it just you go home with a million new ideas and more energy for the patients. The society and the membership will provide the science and we will certainly provide the fun. So if you want to see the world leaders in the field, yeah, the leading people who are, who are currently changing endocrine science and endocrine management, then this is a place to come.